So I came across something the other day that I completely forgot about uh, for the Super Nintendo. It's called the X-Band. It's a modem for your Super Nintendo. There's a phone line here, on-off switch. There's a card slot for what I believe they sold were credits for the service or maybe in-game. But plug your game on top here and then you plug this into the Super Nintendo. So I knew it was cool, um, mainly because I completely forgot it existed. But it was something that was kind of ahead of its time. So I went ahead and bought it. And I've, I never had one when I had my Super Nintendo. And I kind of wish I did now because looking at what all it offered is quite impressive. So, give me a second. So, intro screen. Uh, I created a user earlier that, first of all, the music is pretty damn cool. But I created a user earlier and I, I assume that the battery that's on the board is dead. I might think about replacing it just because, but. So, when you first get it, it tells you to create a player ID, so creating your Super Nintendo Gamer Tag, and it kind of explains what a Gamer Tag is, because uh, I'm assuming most people that were console players didn't, weren't used to this kind of thing. So then it lets you pick your little avatar guy. So there's actually quite a long list of different avatars you can choose. And then each one you can hold up or down and change the color. It's mainly just the background color, but the accents on the avatar itself is changed as well. Pretty cool. <clears throat> so, I assume you could have four different accounts on the one X-Band in case you had other people in the house that were wanting to play. But the options here are just fantastic for the time. So it had a mailbox. And I read that they sent out a newsletter. Um, it says X-Band News, but I, I want to say it was called like Bandwidth or something. And then it kept track of your wins and losses. Um, it only had a list of games that you could play, but the, the games that were on there were quite good. Um, a few of the Mortal Kombat's, I saw Killer Instinct on there. Um, 
but it keeps track of your win loss and if you did a disconnect uh, mid game it counted as a loss check your stats it's friggin awesome for Super Nintendo and I kinda wish it was still around I'm, ass I'm assuming the surface is not valid anymore I did read that um, some of them, or maybe all of them, came with the keyboard, uh, but it, it's quite rare to find the keyboard as well. But man, this is awesome. So that, that's what those cards were for, for the, the front of it. You slide a card in and it gives you credits for the month or for playing. And then you can edit your, your gamer tag, your avatar, your taunt to uh, taunt people online. And then I'm assuming you can browse other people's personal info that they write about themselves. somebody <laughs> yes please oh man this has been so cool I'm really sad that I didn't have this at the time I I saw that somewhere that this was only twenty dollars at the time I mean obviously you had to pay for the service which I think was anywhere from five to fifteen dollars a month but, yeah, this would have been totally worth it. But, just wanted to share something that I found that I think is really friggin' sweet. Hope you enjoyed.